Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test here on Paycheck. Hello everyone, ako po si Jules Giang and welcome to another week of competition here on KCheck. Habang papalapit na ang pagtatapos ng season na ito, patapos na rin ang journey ng ating contestants at malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling KCheck champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, we have Daniel. Daniel is a student of UPOU. He's in his third year of college taking up education studies. His hobbies are watching drag shows, reading, journaling, and going to the gym. He also enjoys listening to music and podcasts while doing mundane tasks. Sunod naman, we have Luis. Luis is a mechanical engineering student from PUP. He likes biking, reading manhwa, and sleeping late para makanap habang nag online classes. <laughs> Sunod naman, we have Pat. Pat attends St. Jude, Manila as an IT student. He enjoys traveling and playing video games online. He's a man of strategy but claims he's not very brilliant. He also enjoys using computers to solve problems. And finally, we have Kram. Kram is a freshman IT student at PUP Santa Mesa. His interests include anything computer and technology related. His hobbies are watching movies and playing online games. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Sunod naman, Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, on to round one. Get ready to buzz in and go for the early lead. Each correct answer in this round is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. Which former member of One Direction performed at the Mall of Asia on May 13, 2024, singing his hits Night Changes and Nice to Meet Ya? Neil Horan. Neil or Niall Horan is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What do you call a highway with controlled exits that charges no tolls by definition? Daniel. Skyway. Skyway is wrong. Anyone can answer. The correct answer is freeway. Question number three. What planet in the solar system is the main feature in the BBC miniseries called The Blue Planet? Saturn? Saturn? Saturn is wrong. Anyone can steal? Pat. Jupiter. Jupiter is wrong. Daniel. Neptune. Neptune is wrong. Cam. Um, Mars. Mars is wrong. The correct answer is Earth. Question number four. What hard white substance can be obtained from the teeth of hippos, horns of narwhals, or the tusks of elephants? The correct answer is ivory. Question number five. The University of the Philippines emerged number one among Philippine schools in QS World University Rankings 2025. What school was number two? Ateneo. Ateneo. Ateneo is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In mental math, what is the arithmetic mean of 20 and 100? Correct answer is 60. Question number 7. What term may describe a volcano that has not erupted in the past 10,000 years or a species of an animal that has died out? Extinct. Extinct is correct. Okay, check. Question number 8. What Middle Eastern country 
was ruled by Ayatollah Khomeini in 1979. Daniel. Kuwait. Kuwait is wrong. Anyone can see Louis? Europe. Europe. Europe is wrong. Anyone can answer? The correct answer is Iran. Question number nine. What do you call the pattern on clothes consisting of large circles of the same size whose name was taken from a Bohemian dance? Daniel. Polka dot. Polka dots is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. Who won an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Poor Things? Daniel. Emma Stone. Let me proceed. And also starred in La La Land and The Amazing Spider-Man. You said Emma Stone. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Complete this quote. The customer is always right in black. Go ahead, Dana. Is always right in. Anyone can steal? Luis. In store. In store is wrong. Pat or cram, you can still answer. All right, the correct answer is actually we're only familiar with the first part of this quote. But the customer is always right. Pero may kasunod yan. The customer is always right in matters of taste. Okay, now we know. Okay, last question for this round, number 12. In June 2024, the NFA ramped up the production of palay to prevent the Philippines from importing rice. What does NFA stand for? Daniel. National Food Authority. National Food Authority is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. So after that round, we have Daniel in the lead with 40 points, followed by Luis and Pat with 10 points each, at si Kram naman pwede pang humabol sa susunod na round. So contestants, dito sa ating uh, show, meron tayong segment na mas kinikilala namin ng inyong mga backgrounds. Ito ang Kay Chica. Simulan natin kay Daniel. So Daniel, ano itong mga podcast na pinapakinggan mo at bakit? Um, una po yung Ang Walang Kwentang Podcast by Direct Tonet Hadaone and JP Haba. Bakit? Isa kang ka-eme pala. Yes. Um, maganda pong makita yung behind the scenes ng pelikula, katulad ng studio nyo ngayon. I think it's interesting considering na nasa education, ano po ako. So, eh, isa yung pelikula sa kind of passion ko po. Mm, may interest ka sa pagpipelikula. Eh. Yes. Na if ever hindi po ako nasa education, production, or writing, pwede. Thank you, Daniel. Ito naman si Luis. Luis, kailangan mo i-explain ito. Natutulog ka ng late para mas masarap magnap habang nag online class. So, paano ka natutunto pag nag online class? Pa naghinip mo or ano? Um, um, <laughs> kasi po, ginagawa ko po kasi patutulog po akong late, aral doon po doon sa madaling araw. Kasi po, Midnight person po, may ilik po. Doon lang po gumagana po talaga utaw ko, kaya doon ko po dinadaan lahat ng oras ko po sa pag-aaral sa ano po, madaling araw lang po. Then, kapag pupasok, wala na po eh. Anto ka po doon kasi po, puyat po eh. Pero, hindi, hindi ka naman daw natawag sa recitation? Hindi po. Magaling po akong tago po sa likod. Hindi <laughs> na po na uli. Sige, diskarte mo yan. Basta, huwag <laughs> ka lang mauli. Okay, maraming salamat Daniel and Luis. Susunod naman, mamaya kakausapin natin si Napat at si Kram. But first, maghanda na tayo for round 2 dahil susunod na yan dito sa K-Check! Welcome back everyone! Reminder lang po sa ating points. Nangunguna si Daniel with 40 points followed by Luis and Pat with 10 points each at si Kram naman habol sa susunod nating round. Ituloy na natin ang susunod na part ng Kay Chica. So, Pat naman ang ating kakausapin. So, Pat, bakit mo nasabing you are a man of strategy but not brilliant? Ano ibig sabihin? Uh, yung ibig sabihin ko po doon, minsan uh, di talaga gumagana yung utak ko pagdating sa mga like coding, like programming sa mga school namin. Minsan nadadaan ko siya sa YouTube like, doon mas natututo uh, actually mas natututo ako doon sa ano sa YouTube kasi magaling mag-tour mga Indian doon. Ah, 
Pero siyempre, sarili-sariling discuss. Sarili-sariling discuss. I guess yun yung pinaka-strategy mo nga. Pero ito yung next question ko kasi sinabi mo may mga nasa-solve kang problem sa computers mo, di ba? So ano yun yung nasolve mong problem so far na maiintindihan namin? Like, mga error po sa ano sa computer na madalas po na uh, nagka-crash. Like, uh, like, mga common errors po sa computer. Kapag ba maraming browsers yun yung mga na naka-open, yun ba isa sa reason kaya nagka-crash or hindi naman? Hindi naman. Babaga lang. Minsan sa hard drive po. Hard drive. Um, Ayan. Okay. Mga rin naintindihan ko. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat sa'yo, Pat. Ngayon si Cram naman. Si Cram din ay actually take din, katulad ni Pat. So, katulad ka rin ba ni Pat na ganun din kalaki ang confidence na ang computer ang sagot o solusyon sa maraming bagay, Cram? Uh, para po sa akin, syempre, uh, evolving po ngayon ang ano ang technology syempre uh, pwede po siya gamitin uh, in terms of ano pag solve po ng problems kaya po uh, na, andito yung yung programming and uh, in coding po kasi kaya po niya talagang mag-solve ng problems in so, real life capture niyo na rin ang mga AI so ah, opo yes okay yan na nga we're in uh, time of AI right now. So, sana magamit natin yung tool na yan into good use. Maraming salamat sa inyo, Pat and Cram. And now, it's time for round two. Kaya naman, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. What is the surname of the President of Ukraine who made a surprise visit to the Philippines on June 3, 2024? The correct answer is Zelensky. Question number two. In what city in the United States do Adele, Rod Stewart, Lady Gaga, and Maroon 5, among many others, have residency shows in 2024? Daniel. Las Vegas. Las Vegas is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Liechtenstein is the fourth smallest country in what continent? Umabot ka, Luis. Go ahead. Europe. Europe is correct. Okay, check. Favorite may Europe, ah. Okay. Question number four. La Gioconda is another name of which famous painting of Leonardo da Vinci? Daniel. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What does the SO in Soji stand for? Daniel. Sexual orientation. Sexual orientation is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Literally meaning easy death in Greek. What term refers to the practice of intentionally ending life to eliminate pain and suffering? Daniel. Suicide. Suicide is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is euthanasia. Question number seven. This is on probability. You have just tossed a fair and biased coin four times, each time landing on heads. What are the chances of getting heads the next time? The correct answer is one half or 50%. Question number eight. In what country did apartheid end in the 1990s with the decline of the Nationalist Party. The correct answer is South Africa. Question number nine. In what month is Rizal Day celebrated? December. December is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What popular web-based word game where you guess a five-letter word in six tries went public in October 2021? The correct answer is Wordle. 
Question number 11. Which Irish singer recorded the hit song Take Me to Church as well as Skinner? Hozier. Let me proceed. As the 2024 number one single Too Sweet, Hozier is correct. Okay, check. And last question for this round, number 12. In sports and games, how many squares are there on an official chessboard? Umabot. Yes, Louis. 100. 100 is wrong. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is 64. And that ends round number 2. So after that round, Daniel is still in the lead with 130 points, followed by Luis with 20 points, Pat with 10 points, at si Kram, kailangan pang humabol sa ating last round mamaya. Dahil up next na nga, ang pinakainihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check! Points recap muna tayo. Daniel is still in the lead with 130 points. Luis with 20 points. Pat with 10 points. And Cram, 0 pa at the moment. But in the lead man si Daniel ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Sana ay mapasaya ninyo sila dahil kahit sila ay may sariling competition para sa pinakamaraming tanong nila na masasagot. Anyway, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Contestants, for this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Good luck, everyone! Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Simula natin sa mathematics. Simply lang, the Hindu Arabic system uses base 10, our number system. Okay? Base 10 tayo. Which civilization is known to have used base 60 and the fact that the circle is divided into 360 parts is also attributed to them? A. Greek B. Egyptian C. Mayan, D. Babylonian, or E. Roman? Pat. A. A po, Greek. Mali. Anyone can steal? Ram. Hindi po, Babylon. Okay, so lahat sila ay may sariling um, numeration system kasi we need numbers, right? The correct answer here is D. Babylonian. Weird, pero base 60 sila. Okay, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Neil. This moderate farmer's organization, established in 1953, dominated the peasant movement in the 1960s, a period after the communist-led Hook Rebellion was defeated by government forces. A. Alliance of Filipino Farmers B. Alliance of Free Farmers C. Federation of Filipino Farmers D. Federation of Free Farmers E. Samahan ng mga magsasaka ng Pilipinas Sa kasalukuyan, ang pinaka-popular na mga kilusan na magsasaka ay mula sa hanay ng mga militante. Ngunit itong 1960s, ang samahan na ito ang pangunahing peasant organization. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Federation of Free Farmers. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question, please. Thank you. In film, the soundtrack is added after filming and is often meant to heighten audience emotion. Like yung merong dun 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 yun. <laughs> Soundtrack yun. What is sound that occurs within the film's world and is heard by the characters? 
For example, the ringing of a phone called A. Incidental B. Exegetic C. Diegetic D. Score E. Narration Pat, B. Exegetic Mali po. Ay naman kang steel. Trap. C po. Diegetic. C po. Diegetic. Okay. Um, during this taping, all the sounds that can be heard here, including that buzzer and the bell, are called diegetic. Okay. Check. Thank you. Now we're off to our second round of questions. Prof. Marian. Sana masagot niyo ito. Which of the following is not a nucleotide base of the DNA? A. Adenine B. Cytosine C. Guanine D. Quinoline or E. Thymine Louis. D. Quinoline D. Quinoline So, pag DNA... Siguro na alala niyo yung ano um, ATGC adenine binds with um, thymine and guanine binds with cytosine in the DNA. So hindi kasama dito ang out dito ay ang quinoline which is a solvent preservative used in flavoring of, of medicines and also adenine paints, fun fungicides and other pharmaceuticals. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. What is a historical source not categorized under written testimonies? A. Artistic performances B. Diaries C. Legal documents D. Novels E. Newspapers Male? Anyone can steal? See, legal documents. Male? Only Daniel or Pat can answer. Pat. A artistic performances. So lahat maliban sa tamang sagot, lahat ay kolektibong tinatawag na mga documents. Ang tamang sagot ay less letter A artistic performances. K check. Prof. Sophie, next question. In photography, what is the period of daytime shortly after sunrise or before sunset during which daylight is redder and softer called? A. High noon B. Golden hour C. Twilight D. Dusk E. Aurora Borealis Daniel, letter D. Dusk Mali po. Anyone can steal? B. Golden R okay. So the period of daytime shortly after sunrise or before sunset Think of a more solo paintings, no? That is called B, the golden hour. Okay, check. Thank you. So we're halfway done right now. Two rounds to go, but mag-score si recap muna tayo. Daniel is still in the lead with 115 points, followed by Luis with 65 points, Cram with 45 points, and Pat with 10 points. Meron pa tayong 180 points left in the next two rounds. So kaya pa nating humabol. Third round, simulan na natin, Prof. Marian. Sa ating artistic performance, okay. The chemical symbol SB stands for stibnum or stibnite. What is the modern name for this element? A. Arsenic B. Antimony C. Ciborgium D. Tin or E. Samarium Hindi nyo memorize ang 
periodic table. <laughs> okay. Stibnum was used to make a black eye makeup. Now it is used in paints, glass, and pottery. The chemical symbol for antimony is SB, which stands for Stibnum. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. Sobrang hirap yung mga tanong ni Ma Marian. Okay. Number three. Okay. Ang susunod na tanong mula sa akin. What is the chronological order of presidential administrations after 1986? A. Corazon Aquino or C. Aquino, Estrada, Makapagal Arroyo, Ramos, Binigno, Aquino the Third or B. Aquino. B. C. Aquino, Estrada, Ramos, Makapagal Arroyo, B. Aquino. C. C. Aquino, Makapagal Arroyo, Ramos, Estrada, and B. Aquino. D. C. Aquino, Ramos, Estrada, Makapagal Arroyo, B. Aquino. E. C. Aquino, Ramos, Makapagal Arroyo, Estrada, B. Aquino. Nagulat ako na hirapan kayo sa pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga pangulo sa mga nagsilbi sa Malacanang matapos ang 1986. Akala ko mas mahirap yung math eh. Nahirapan sila sa chronology. Okay. O nga, kailangan meron ding table ito. Okay. Tamang sagot ay letter D. Si Aquino or Corazon Aquino, Ramos, Estrada, Makapagal Arroyo and Binigno Simeon Aquino the third or B Aquino. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Next question. Uh, this in architecture. The neoclassical style Manila Central Post Office, completed in 1928, has 16 columns in the Ionic order. Um, by the Ionic order, no, it looks like this. In as the as column, what are the two other principal classical orders called? A. Doric and Bubonic. B. Doric and Corinthian. C. Corinthian and Constantine. D. Constantine and Hellenic. E. Hellenic and Hellenistic. Louis, Louis. Doric and Corinthian. Okay, so um, yung Doric, it's like this. Yung taas ng columns niya. Yung Ionic, like I mentioned earlier, it has those curls, no? Those curls. And then yung Corinthian, it has yung halahalaman on top, no? So B Doric and Corinthian is correct. K okay, check. Thank you so much. Let's do a quick scores recap before we go to our last round. Daniel is still in the lead with 115 points, Luis with 95 points, Karam with 45 points, and Pat with 10 points. We have 90 points left dito sa ating last round. Fourth round, simulan na natin, Prof. Marian. Okay, pangbuo ng 90 points yu pa. Which part of the flower? Can we find its female reproductive organ? A. Petal B. Pistil C. Receptacle D. Sepal or E. Stamen Pat, A. Petal Male. Anyone can steal? Mukhang nakalimutan nyo na ang parts of the flower. <laughs> so, tingin kayo ng gumamela. The petal, receptacle, sepal. Ito yung sama-sama. Petal will attract, di ba? Yung mga bees and so on. Now, the stamen produce the pollen. Andun yung pollen. 
and the pistil, ito ang naglalaman ng ovary at ovule ng bulaklak. So, the correct answer is B, pistil. Thanks, Prof. Marian. Last question from Prof. Neil. Go ahead. All of the items listed below are issues that characterize the presidency of Benigno Simeon Aquino III except for one. A. Handling of the disaster wrought by Typhoon Heian. B. Magindanao Massacre. C. Mama Sapano Incident. D. Manila Hostage Crisis. E. Tanimbala at the airport. B. Magindanao Massacre. Okay. Ang Magindanao Massacre nangyari noong taong 2009. Ang pangulo noong panahon na yon ay si President GMA. So ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Magindanao Massacre. K-check. Okay. So before we proceed to the last question, uh, very quick scores recap tayo sa nangunguna. Luis is now in the lead with 125 points, followed closely by Daniel with 115 points. So, dito natin malalaman kung sino talaga magwawagi sa ating last question. Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> um, this kind of mathematical then. So, <clears throat> the composition of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, or La Gioconda, as Daniel said earlier, is believed to follow the golden ratio uh, or 1.618 the golden ratio is derived from what mathematical sequence a fairy sequence b random sequence c fibonacci sequence d Trump. fibonacci sequence um tapusin ko lang po D. Harmonic Sequence E. Geometric Sequence The correct answer is Fibonacci Sequence And you can ask um, Professor Marian not to explain that So um, talagang may intersectionality yung math and arts on that Yes, matter. very much K-Check And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Congratulations to our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 125 points. Okay, congratulations. Talagang <laughs> nabigla tayo kasi all the way kanina no, si Daniel yung nangunguna ba. Thank you so much still. So Luis with 125 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. At maraming salamat din of course once again to Daniel, to Pat and to Cram. Palapakan natin sila. At sa ating members ng ating panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophia. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! Yeah!